Hi guys, welcome back. So Ray J has claimed that some celebrities have told him they are afraid that their affiliation with Diddy could land them in trouble and have even paid alleged victims in order to keep them quiet. Ray J made the revelation that some high-profile people who are connected to Diddy are trying to pay off alleged victims before accusations come to light in order to keep their name out of the mess. Ray J said, I am hearing about artists paying victims to keep their name out of it. He was asked if he has heard of anyone being paid off to keep quiet. He replies, that's what I do know. People do catch and kills all day. And a catch and kill, of course you know. But for the regular world, some people has the truth. Somebody pays you to keep it quiet. And hopefully that money that you got paid secures your happiness while you watch the lie continue to succeed. Ray J was asked if he actually personally knows anyone who has been offered money in order to not talk. Ray J responds, here's the other way around it, Harvey. I'll give you money. Please don't talk. He responded, yes, they want to talk to me. They want to talk to me about what happened to them. They call me. They feel like they can trust me. The interviewer asks for clarification for what these people are calling him over. Ray J answers, because they want to tell me about certain things that happened with them and Diddy. Ray J was asked if it was possible to verify that the people who are contacting him, who are contacting him are high profile persons who have an affiliation with Diddy that they don't want made public, but want Ray J to essentially be the whistleblower. Ray J responds by saying, yes, that's exactly what I am saying. And I don't even know why I said it, but I said it, so what? Now they got to be mad. Then he was asked if these persons were specific of what they did with Diddy. And Ray J looked pensive and sullen before saying, I don't want to say, I think I said too much. Now, keep in mind, Ray J is a huge troll. He trolls a lot. He's a clown. So this came a day after Ray J was claiming he was shot at by someone trying to unalive him two weeks after having a heated exchange with three of Diddy's sons. Ray J shared a black and white video of himself telling his fans that he was recently the target of an alleged shooting. So he said, N-word, just try to shoot me. They try to unalive me. And you want me to apologize, N-word? F you. He said in a recording uploaded to his Instagram story, which ended with him waving his finger at the camera. Now, two weeks ago, sources reported that Diddy's sons confronted Ray J about public comments Ray J made about Diddy amid his legal troubles. Justin, Christian, and Quincy. Well, we know Quincy is not Diddy's son. Quincy is I'll be sure son with Kim Porter. And now there have been reports everywhere saying that Justin may not even be Diddy's son. Okay? That's Misa, Misa Hilton's son. But they're saying Justin's real father is Diddy's ex-bodyguard, Wolf. That's his street name. I don't know his real name, so I don't know. Okay. So anyway, so Justin, Christian, and Quincy surrounded Ray J and began getting in each other's faces and chest bumping one another. The source reportedly made, a, made it clear that the two of the sons, Justin and Christian, were ready and eager for a fight. However, singer Chris Brown had seen everything from his car and rushed over. He diffused the situation with Ray J's manager by pulling the brothers away. The siblings had reportedly approached Ray J three times beforehand to discuss the singer's comments. 
Ray J said that he was always open to having that conversation with Diddy's sons, but was willing to fight the three of them after they made disrespectful comments. It's reported that Ray J still considers Diddy and his children family, but refused to let himself get punk by little kids. Okay, so I don't believe anything that comes out of Ray J's mouth. Remember who Ray J is. Ray J is deep in that mess, okay? He is close friends with Diddy. No one is calling Ray J to tell Ray J any secrets because they feel like they can trust him. That is bull. That is bull. Who believes that people are calling Ray J? High profile people are calling Ray J, telling Ray J that they are paying our victims off so their name don't be put out there. I don't believe no high profile are calling Ray J. I don't believe no victims are calling Ray J. I don't believe anyone is calling Ray J. The only one who are calling Ray J are people he's in it with, which is Diddy. I believe this whole his um his sons um confronted Ray J about comments he said about Diddy. First of all, Ray J never said anything bad about Diddy. Ray J have not said anything. The first interview he did Wait, what's that guy named Cuomo? He was denying these things. He was saying, "Oh, I never saw anything. Oh, I don't. I didn't know. Oh, no, di you know." He was denying these things. So the fact that now they're claiming, "Oh, Ray J almost got into a heated argument with Diddy's sons." No, they they trolling. They are trolling because Ray J have not commented anything negative. He can't. He is deep with. Diddy, he is deep in that mess. So he can't trash Diddy. He was denying these things. He was saying, oh, no, I never saw anything. No, there's no such thing as this, as freak off parties. He was denying it. But now, all of a sudden, he almost got into a fight with Diddy's sons. And mind you, before all this, you've never heard Diddy's sons get into any fights. But... Someone who's close with Diddy, all of, all of a sudden Diddy's locked up, and then these signs are approaching him. The family friend that they all close with, all of a sudden, they're approaching him on the streets. They're not calling him, but they're going to approach him on the streets, right? But, they, but he's very close with the whole family. But now, they don't talk on the phone. Now they're just gonna run up on you on the streets. But before Diddy's locked up, no one was doing any of that. Now, all of a sudden, these sons are gangsters and they wanna fight Diddy's best friend. Okay, it's staged, it was BS, it's, none of that is true. It has to make sense, it has to make sense. It doesn't add up, it needs to add up. You know, I don't know what Ray J's up to, but they put him up to something. He's up to something. He's always up to something, okay? He cannot be trusted. And now he's beefing with a fake pastor, Jamal Bryant, over an interview that he did with the fake pastor. And all of a sudden, he went on live and he threatened the pastor, his own friend, mind you, and they're friends. They're very close friends. And he go on live, made a video, and, and threatened the pastor not to air the interview. The same interview that he, <laughs> he approved, you know? So he wanted some publicity for the interview before it dropped. So it's like, okay, so you did an interview with a friend, and then instead of calling the friend, you rather go online and threaten the, the friend saying, do not air the interview. And then the, the friend, you know, he loves attention too. He loves drama. The fake pastor replied and said some stuff to, you know, to hype up the interview. And then he dropped the interview. He aired the interview. I didn't watch it, but I saw one little clip where the only thing was Ray J said he felt like people uh, are after him and he doesn't feel safe. So that was the whole drama with the fake pastor that they tried to, you know, hi hype it up with the fake beef. Oh my gosh. 
And look who Ray J. Look at the type of man that Ray J surround himself with. People like Diddy, this fake pastor, Jamal Bryant. Ray J cannot be trusted. And keep in mind, let's not forget, Ray J was the last person with Whitney Houston. With Whitney Houston. He was her supplier. Okay? So, instead of doing all these trolling stuff online, he needs to tell us what we need to know. The real things that we need to know. We don't care about your stupid interview with your fake pastor friend. We don't care about all these nonsense people are calling you to tell you about. No one is calling you, Ray J. Okay, we want to know about Whitney Houston. What did you do to Whitney Houston? What did you do that night to Whitney Houston? And who, who put you up to it? Who gave you the order to unalive Whitney Houston? Because you were in that hotel room. Because I remember when it was reported in the news that Whitney passed away. They said that Ray J was with Whitney. Ray J was with Whitney in the hotel room. And then, next thing you know, they came back. Then they reported Ray J was not at the hotel room. Really? Really? So, yeah. Let us know what happened to Whitney Houston. Who gave you that order, Ray J? Who gave you that tall order, Ray J? Because that was a tall order. All right? Because you, you have your hand in that, Ray J. Your hand was definitely in that mess. So we don't care. We don't care about you trolling. We only care about Whitney Houston. Okay? And look at the people he surrounds himself with. Look at the people he's very, very, very close friends with. Diddy. That fake pastor, Jamal Bryant. These evil frauds. And remember, he threatened the rapper Fabulous, saying he's going to have his booty goons, all word Fabulous, and his friends with Diddy, who's well known for all wording men and women. Okay? But yet, Ray J is threatening people how he's going to have his booty goons. Our word, men. Yeah. So this guy, Ray J, if higher ups are being exposed, yeah, your little Z list behind will definitely be exposed soon. Definitely. So instead of trolling, if I were you, I would just come clean now because. This is just crazy. It's like you guys are too evil. Too evil. You guys are evil. And you guys will not win. You guys will not win. Evil will never win. Don't you guys get that by now? But anyway, that is all, you guys. What are your thoughts on Ray J saying people are calling him? Because they feel like they can trust him and they are telling him what they did with Diddy. Yeah. <laughs> what are your thoughts on that? Do you believe that? Do you believe that people are calling Diddy's close friend and telling him what he did what they did with Diddy? <laughs> oh my gosh. It just sounds so ridiculous. It's like, come on. Who do they think they're talking to? Idiots? <laughs> Well, they do think they think they think the public are idiots so yeah so leave it in the comments you guys don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe i do appreciate the support love you guys i will see you on the next one peace